Virginia Tech wins at 87-72, remains unbeaten at home. And Sean Padula off a career-high 32 points joins us here at the table. Uh, congratulations on the win, first of all. How are you feeling right now? You're running around like a madman for 40 minutes. I know. I'm tired, but I feel good. Uh, obviously, shot was falling, but I was just coming out playing confidently, so I feel good. Needed, needed the win, so glad we got the result we wanted. You had 26 Saturday a career high, 32 a career high tonight. What has been different for you the last two nights? Um, just staying confident. Uh, I went through a, a kind of a rough patch last however many games. Um, part of that was just my, getting my body right, but um, I'm at my best whenever I'm playing as confident as I can be. Uh, sometimes it might not, the shots might not fall, but my confidence is never going to change. So um, shots were falling today, and uh, we, we saw what happened. So. Sean, when Hunter was not able to come back in the game at halftime, so you knew in the second half you weren't going to have him in the backcourt with you. What was your mindset offensively about what you needed to do to get the win? Just just to run the team. Um, we, we run a lot of stuff through Hunter, uh, as we should, and, and, and the threat that he is offensively. But uh, with him out the second half, I knew we were just going to have to have longer possessions. Um, they were going to be more keyed in on, on, my, on myself. So kind of tried to feed into the post a little bit more, uh, just kind of get the rest of the guys going. Uh, Robbie hit a huge shot at the end of the game. Uh, and that was just kind of an example of it, just taking what the defense was giving me so you had a career high tonight so did tyler nickel with 24 yeah. it smashed a career high um what made his night so special i think just taking what the defense was giving us like i said i, I got into the paint a couple of times and found him um uh, and with shooters like like him and, and hunter and and mj and, and, and other guys that we got it's kind of easy to just get in the lane like the coaches uh constantly preach and then uh just making the right play from that and then guys do the rest so um, I'm glad he had a great night, and we, and we needed it, so proud of him. Sean, you know I'm all offense, so 87 points on the board is good, but defensively, the job on P.J. Hall, the job that you guys did on Joe Girard, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, coming into it, we knew the, the offensive threat that P.J. could be uh, and that he has been this whole season, so he was kind of the focal point that we wanted to kind of uh, key in on. But honestly, the, coach, the main thing that I think helped us out the, this game was just the aggressiveness that we play with defensively. Um, they said we needed 24 deflections going into this game, and I, I think we ended with like 28, 29 or something. So I think that was the difference defensively. Um, obviously, we can do things to take away the looks that they got, but um, deflections and aggressiveness were just the main things. Congratulations on the win the career high, Sean. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Sean Padula with 32 points for Virginia Tech. Gets that quad one win at home. Coming up next, another great game, Oklahoma and TCU. For Deb Antonelli, our entire crew, Kevin Brown saying so long from Blacksburg.